G'day, Michael here. This is a product I sell on my eBay store. A beautiful cutting board made out of Australian hardwoods. Now, all around me in the mountains here are eucalypts of all sorts of descriptions. But this guy here is, is Tassie Oak, which is it's really a misnomer. Um, but it's a timber that behaves a lot like Northern Hemisphere oaks. You can see in my, my loose, sloppy clothes. This is because I'm doing a lot of hard work, hard planing. Uh, it's important to you know, be able to freely exert energy to get the job done. Okay, well how do I get, on such a hard timber, a nice finish like this? Well, I've got pretty good machinery and it, they produce very good finishes. All sorts of machines, uh, whether it be a panel saw or a jointer. I don't know whether you can see that. Let's just have a bit of a zoom. I'm not sure whether the camera will pick this up, but anyhow, the saw, as beautiful as it works, focus. as beautiful as the saw works, it produces a lot of uh, like saw marks, which we need to clean out. All right, so how do we do that? Well, I think you can see. Just you can see this. There's marks going this way, which are not the grain line. They are in fact like fractured fractured uh, material from the saw cut going across. Now every act of cutting this material is going to cause fractures but the way to overcome all those ripples really you're left with a hand plane. Now I'm using a number seven. It's a fairly large, fairly heavy plane. Now if you're planing softer timbers uh, that might be, I don't know, like a maple or something, something a fair bit softer, um, you'll need well, you won't need to have quite the same support. But what happens is, this is what's called quarter saw, and if you want to look up uh, other videos on woodworking, I think I've got one uh, there called Woodworking the Basics. And in that video, uh, I go through how to actually, the, 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 how to think about cutting woods. Um, now, this, and the difference between wood and timber, this is now timber because it's a um, material ready to be a product, as opposed to you know, the stuff that trees are made out of. Okay, so with the, the quarter sawn uh, grain here, what happens is if the, the plane confronts one of these uh, ring lines, it basically stalls because this stuff is so hard, uh, it, it really just stops you in your tracks. So you've got to turn the blade at an angle to the grain um, so as to limit that, that catching effect. And there's, oh, and there's quite a bit of force involved. There's quite a bit of force involved in making that cut. You can hear there the plane is wanting to stop as it goes through the ripples. Uh, something like uh, any of the northern hemisphere pines like Oregon or, or Douglas fir basically, um, or right out of pine, that's so much easier to plane. And even they have issues with the, the grain lines. Excuse me, I'll probably be in the way now. Probably the most similar timber of the Northern, northern Hemisphere timbers would be something like a Northern Hemisphere oak. So here you can see a comparison. This is definitely the same material. Uh, you've got the same joint lines. Basically this is the next piece off the same uh, planks. Now you can see what I've hand planed is, I'm going to say it looks a little bit more clear, whereas what came off the panel saw is kind of more fluffy. It still feels smooth, but it's by far not, not ideal. If I was to uh, oil that, it would show all the little saw marks from the circular saw blade. Now the shavings I'm taking off are very thin. So this is how fine the shaving is. And really, you'd probably be limited to somewhere between maybe 60 to 120 microns for shaving thickness at best on this end grain. Probably towards the thinner end of 
that. If you go much thinner than that, basically you get nothing done in, a, in an hour's work. So it's a balancing act between getting enough off so you're getting um, sort of efficient use of time and what you can actually push. As you can see, with the setting I've got there, it takes a bit before it actually starts taking any material off. But when I'm doing the end grain, I just do not have the strength to overcome the end grain, taking much more off. Anyway, you'll find that limit when you're doing any planing yourself. The other thing worth noting is timbers like Australian hardwoods are pretty much, uh, well they're pretty high in silicates as well as being just plain hard, they are quite abrasive on cutting tools. So you find yourself having to make your tools for a start, you want to have a percentage of tungsten in them and second, the cutting edge needs to actually be quite a, um, well closer to a right angle than you would say for maybe uh, a cedar or something like that. Well, I guess that's it for this little video. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.